Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, I'd love for you to click on that subscribe button and please come back for more luxury related content. Let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I will be reviewing, um, you know, talking about my small Saint Laurent Lulu bag, right? Um, you know, with all the YSL price increases that have been coming, I thought I'd come out here and talk about what I feel, um, do I recommend the bag, um, you know, and uh, what I think about it. So um, if you do follow me, you must have seen that I have added already a review of my um, envelope, the St. Laurent envelope bag that's in the bigger size. And my Lulu here is in the small size. So as always with all my reviews, I'm going to start off a little bit with what the features are of the bag and then, um, you know, what I'm carrying in my bag, like what fits. And then, of course, a couple of the pros and cons that I have about this bag. Um, let's start off. And I, of course, have this in the Blanc Vintage color. I love this color. So I had, uh, you know, seen the Lulu. It's been around for some time now and it's been really, really popular. And I did think to myself that, okay, if I were ever to get this bag, what color would it be in? And, you know, with all the beautiful uh, colors that St. Laurent always comes out with, I personally feel that they do their neutrals really, really well. So I was, of course, eyeing, it was either their dark beige, um, I already have black, or their Rouge Legion bag, the L Rouge, sorry, the Rouge Legion, I think that's their maroon color. I had all thought of that one as well. My sister actually has that maroon color and I love that as well. I feel it's a beautiful neutral that can be worn, you know, with everything. And then I saw this color and this is the color that really made my heart stop. I was like, okay, I don't have anything like this in my collection. Just look at the off, it's not white by the way. It's like a, like a blurry white, it's more like a chalk white. So the, the, you know, that chalk white, you know, against the uh, bronze chain, oh, that just sold me, right? And I was like, okay, if I am to ever get the Lulu, I'm definitely gonna get it in this color. And this year I thought, okay, with the crazy YSL price increases, um, you know, I'm gonna get this for my birthday. And so I went down into the store and I tried it on, I looked at the colors, you know, just to make sure that this was the right one. And it definitely was, it really stood out. The green as well stood out. But for me, the Blanc Vintage really took away the show. So of course I got it in this then. And um, if I'm just gonna really quickly talk about all the features of the um, Lulu bag, as we can see that it's got, of course, a front uh, flap, which has the beautiful YSL initials. And this is again in the bronze. My envelope, large envelope YSL bag is more gold. Of course, you've got the metal chain. It could be worn, um, you know, in a single chain, or of course it can be worn in a double chain. It's however you like it, right? And I'm gonna go over the dimensions as well for those who are interested in the small size because I do know that the Lulu is still, you know, looked out for. People are still looking to see uh, reviews and, you know, pros and cons, etc. So the dimensions are, this one is 23 centimeters in length. It is 17 centimeters in height and it's got nine centimeters of depth. So the strap drop, if it is folded, this is around 31 centimeters, which is just so perfect on the shoulder. And then if you want to crossbody it, which I don't wear it in that style, but it's perfect because it's 56 centimeters. And of course, it's got the beautiful magnetic closure. It's so easy, right? Um, the, the, sorry, the magnet itself is really hard. I'm not gonna say easy to close. So we'll come to that in the cons, but it is a really strong magnet, right? And if I look inside the bag, it's got, of course, two main compartments. You've got one and two. And then, of course, you've got your zip compartment. So as you can see, I still have the sticker on my zip, which I need to get rid of. And then they've also got a back pocket right here. So there's quite a bit of space inside the bag. Uh, let me just put that out there. And um, it is gross grain lining. So gross grain lining is... Um, it's kind of like a hybrid between leather and cloth. I can't really say it's leather and I can't even say it's cloth. So um, it's, like I said, it's like a mix of both. And mine is, of course, it's made in Italy. And um, yeah, it's got bronze metal hardware as I just, you know, I just spoke about. 
So this is the small size. The Lulu does come in three sizes. You've got the Toy Lulu, which is the smallest. You've got this one, and then you've got the medium. I'm not too sure, but I think they did have large once upon a time, um, you know, but I really don't see anybody carry that, or I don't even really see anybody talk about that. So those are the main features of the bag. I'm going to quickly show you guys what fits into this and what exactly I am carrying it and how I like to carry the bag, you know, whenever I take it out. So I've got it filled up with all my goodies and I'm going to bring it forward just to show you guys. Okay, so that chain is a little noisy, but let's open her up. So it's stuffed to its fullest. This is everything that I do carry on an everyday basis. So first things first, I'm going to pull out my Makeup Forever um, you know, this is a foundation powder, but I love it because it's so compact. It's easy on the go in case I do need a touch up or anything. Next, I've got a small, you know, uh, packet of wipes in here. I like to carry these smaller ones because they fit in all handbags. Next, I've got my toiletry 15. So I haven't carried the toiletry 15 in a really long time, and I've been enjoying this so much. It's it's more or less like the mini pochette, to be honest. And um, I'm not gonna go over everything I have in here. I've done that so many times, so I'm gonna put this aside. But yes, here it is, the beautiful toiletry 15. So that was the front compartment, and I just have one more item in here. I've got the Miss Dior nourishing hand cream uh, this is really good for anybody who's interested you know I think it's another topic of discussion but these really bougie hand creams not the best to be honest I think there are better options out there I think this one and my Chanel one probably gonna be the last bougie hand creams I've ever purchased I'm, I'm not gonna waste money on these anymore so I'm gonna put that aside I am using it right now um, next, I've got one more Kleenex wipes in here. So those fit as well for anybody interested. That's a bigger size. And I also am carrying my beautiful Chanel uh, Zippy card holder. I have forgotten which collection this is from, but I did purchase this earlier in the year. So it was around March. Uh, you know, if you're interested, I can, you know, I have my... Uh, in the description box you can check the unboxing for this one but yeah pretty pretty cute I love the color it fits quite a bit so and it fits of course really nice and easy in this look at how pretty that pink looks against that off-white oh, stunning and then next I've got my Louis Vuitton card holder I have not used this in a really really long time um, to be honest, probably not one of my favorite uh, small leather goods. I feel um, there are better card holders out there. So, but yeah, I wanted to you know, use this, so I did pull it out and it's in my bag right now. And then last but not the least, I have shown you guys this before. I've got my little Samorka pouch with my hand sanitizer. I've got some breath spray and I've got two little perfume samples. Uh, the ones that I am carrying at the moment are Gabrielle Chanel and I've got the Miss Dior from, of course, Dior. So these all sit really nicely and I can just squeeze them, you know, I can squeeze this pouch into any corner in my bag. So I'm going to put that aside. So as you can see, there was quite a bit of, I, you know, quite a bit of things in here. If I want, I can lay my sunglasses and a soft pouch on the top. And I'm filming with my phone right now, but I've got an 11 Pro Max that fits in here really easily as well. So lots and lots of space in here. I don't put anything in the back. Um, and I, of course, I'm not even using the zip uh, compartment, right? So that's also empty. So that's everything that fits into the bag. Um, I don't suggest uh, that you fit a longer wallet because it definitely won't fit because even though the bag's got some length to it, the corners are kind of, of course, curved in. So I don't think they would fit. Coming to the pros of the bag, what do I really think about it? Is it up to its hype? Whatever people had been saying about the Lulu, do I recommend it enough? Um, I'm going to start off with my first pro and which is of course uh, how light the bag is right so that is something I absolutely love the bag it's so light uh, it is made of course of calfskin leather so you would expect that if it's leather there would be a little bit of weight to it absolutely not it is so light and it is so easy to carry so even when it was stuffed it was pretty light so whenever I have this on my shoulder I really don't feel that it's on my shoulder because of how light the bag is and um, 
I feel that really adds to how practical a bag can be, especially if you've got smaller kids, you know. So like I said, I've got two kids, and if I am out with them, and if I am carrying this bag, and I've got like a baby bag, and I've got a stroller, this little bag is on my shoulder, and I really don't feel it. So I feel it's a huge pro for one to have, um, you know, when of course you are investing in a handbag that is so expensive. So definitely for me, the weight and, um, you know, as to how practical the weight of the bag is. So number one pro. Number two is of course the space that it has. So 23 centimeters in length does not represent, you know, a big bag. It's definitely a smaller bag. Um, my Fendi Peekaboo is 23 centimeters. Of course it's shorter in height, but the length is the same. And I feel this one has just far more space. I could fit my toiletry 15 in here without any problem. And you know, of course, a bunch of other small leather goods that I have. Um, I'm sure if I wanted to put in a couple of more things, I could easily do that. Um, but I feel it offers quite a bit of space, you know, for the size that it is. So definitely, um, you know, space, considering that it is a smaller bag. Pro number three is, of course, I love the colors it comes in. If you have seen my YSL zip card case uh, review, I will again link that down below. I did mention in that as well that I love this about Saint Laurent, that they have so many color options. And every season there's a color that, you know, that just really, really catches your eye. And um, you do know that when you are purchasing the right color, it is the best one because you've seen a variety of them. So to be able to actually get hold and see all these bags, unless, you know, like other fashion houses where you can get to see one color, but the other color is not available, you know, I feel that with St. Laurent, whenever you walk into the store, you've got all the colors in front of you and you can really pick and choose and try which color good looks good against maybe your skin tone or maybe the kind of, you know, everyday uh, attire that you carry. So definitely check out the colors that there are. I will, of course, link the website down below so you guys can directly go and see what other colors I have. I love the way St. Laurent does neutrals. Nobody does them better than them. Um, it's such a simple silhouette, you know, against the color, which brings me to my, um, you know, last uh, pro or advantage, or if you want to invest in this bag, is how simple, how classic the silhouette of the St. Laurent bags are. I feel they're so timeless, right? Um, they're absolutely timeless. And, um, you know, they, they, this style won't run out. And, I mean, in the near future, or maybe probably five, 10 years from now, you definitely can rock this style of bag because it's so classic. And let me just put this out there. For a lot of us who, of course, look for versatility, I um, have mentioned before that I don't wear a lot of crossbody bags. But this is something I also appreciate about this handbag is the fact that even if you want to wear it crossbody, the single chain length is just so decent, right? You're not like pulling 60, 65 centimeters long, long length of chains, you know, to be hanging down your body. This is a good 56 centimeters and it looks really good even when it's worn crossbody. Of course, I wear this on my shoulder and it's such, like I said, a comfortable fit that um, I wouldn't even think of wearing it cross shoulder because like I said, on the shoulder itself, it's just so comfortable. Let's get into the cons about the bag. I feel there are a couple of cons which need to be mentioned and for one to keep in mind uh, when purchasing the bag. First things first is I'm gonna talk about the magnetic closure, which I earlier mentioned that it is really, really strong. So once you close it, you see you kind of have to really put some pressure on it to open it. But my con is you see that doesn't really snap into place. So when you're on, when you have the bag on your shoulder and you're in a rush, you really want to close it quickly. This is kind of cumbersome because you have to literally bring the clasp, you know, the the flap forward, and you have to kind of find the magnet in order to close it. Now sometimes that gets to me if I am in a hurry and I, I want to, you know, get something out of my bag, and of course I want to close it. It kind of bothers me that I'm having to find the closure with the magnet in order to shut the bag. So do keep that in mind when you do purchase the bag. Con number two is the fact that these chains do intermingle. Um, they overlap. They kind of like just, you know, um, they'll, they'll turn upside down, as you can see right here. So it's never really a real straight chain. You know, they'll kind of like, um, you know, mingle with, not the word, <laughs> mingle probably isn't the right word. But they probably, you know, they just they just come together, and it, it it kind of bothers me because the bag itself doesn't look straight or the chain doesn't look straight. 
So I feel do keep that in mind if you are to get the bag, maybe try it in store. If it doesn't really bother you, then you could be all right with it. So th that brings me to the end of this video. Um, you know, if you guys are, like I said, you know, interested, definitely go and try it out at the store. I highly recommend the bag. Uh, I feel the cons are not that much. Um, you know, the, the pros out definitely outweigh the cons. And um, if you do get one, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. And it's better you get one as soon as possible. With the crazy price increases, I think it's better that one picks it up. If you do have it, of course, on your wish list. But with that, this brings me to the end of the video. And please subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.